Sean Diddy Combs appears to be facing a cash crisis as hefty legal bills mount and income from lucrative partnerships dries up. Analysis of Diddy's finances by The Post shows. The Post's analysis puts Diddy's total annual bills conservatively at $35 million per year. Without the impact of his secret settlement with Cassie, his reps declined to comment. You ain't got the talent, and you can't write it, you can't produce it, then you got to use something else. It's called sex. A person that don't got the talent is going to be more demonic, more evil, and more heartless when it comes to taking something from somebody. Because they can't produce nothing. That's real. Man, I, you've been in this business a while, so you've seen a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, that's why, you know, people got mad at me in the dialogue conversation. I said, check this out, bro. I ain't never put my name on nobody at work. I ain't never took none from nobody. And I ain't never stole none from nobody. Now, can you say that about most of these people at the top? You can't. You can't. So, if you got all these people up here hollering this, I'm the greatest, I'm the greatest. And then you look down the crib. Did you write that? You didn't write that? Well, how you replace <laughs> <laughs> like, You know, that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying, are we going to be, are we going to live in a world of uh, uh, falsettos or are we going to live in a world of truth? Thing is, I don't really party much, so I couldn't really speak much on it. But yeah. I, I would like to say, you know, um, you know, just just pray for the man, you know. Um, you know, God knows best whatever's happening. God's dealing with it, and that's the best thing to say. But I, you know, it is very unfortunate that things in this business are always, you know, being exposed in certain ways. And I think things could be done differently. But I think this is a matter for God to just continue dealing with how He's dealing with it. Okay, so the moment y'all been waiting for. So this is Team Mastermind official speaker. So this is exclusive photo of Meat Mill in Diddy House. The first way that is mentioned, they take this photo. They send it to me and now I'm giving it to y'all man. Y'all need to share this video. One time, drop a like, subscribe and comment free meat mills. <laughs> because based on the news that I've heard, meat mills is still in cage. The real meat mills is this. The fake meat mills is the one you see on Instagram. <laughs> because as far as I realize, meat mills been any meat mills been hanging with Diddy from day one so diddy capture meat mills this is how diddy look when he just found meat mills and realized that he hadn't he haven't touched him look at your screen this is how diddy once look at meat mills and now meat mills is in this situation right now caged up you know and they also got a clown of him saying a bunch of shit saying he's not gay he's damn right he's not gay because the real him is in the cage right now you get you get me also we're not finished so we have two more photos so the first one is uh twin where have you been when r kelly c diddy you know for the first time man it's like the best moment for both of them man and the second photo is suj knight you know when he see puff daddy in prison yard man in, in that prison yard you know he's like yes got you you little sex worker yeah you know what i'm saying like i'm telling you like this is gonna get more interesting like next month you know so far the feds are giving diddy a little free time that's why we see him riding his bike so next month they're gonna you know come in more strong so y'all gotta be prepared for part nine <laughs> because we couldn't be a part two right now man we're like at port nine Part 2 was like a moment after Biggie Small died. You know, it's 2024 now, so we're at Part 9. So, anyway, share your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about this, man. I'm enjoying myself. And someone please find Meat Mills, man. He's still in that cage, man.